Brembo's too. Let's go. Oh. Good morning guys welcome back or to the channel today we are going sled shopping yes you heard that right we are going sled shopping it is sled shopping saturday like i said last video we are not shopping for a polaris right now we are actually going to shop for a skidoo summit i have a couple summits i want to look at and one free ride the summits being a 146 154 and 165 all the 850 and there also is a free ride 800 154 i want to look at as well but yeah big shock to me big shock to you guys too because as you guys know i am pretty much the polaris guy i just purely love Polaris but recently there's been something telling me I should switch brands and try something new while I wait for my snow check so that is exactly what we we're gonna go see if we could do today quite honestly if everything goes to plan today we find the right sled for the right price this will be the first time in history that I do not own a single Polaris and I am a skidoo owner honestly it's pretty exciting but also kind of scary because it's something new I'm not used to it and it's gonna take some adjusting to get used to but I am also excited to try something new and have something new on the channel for you guys because I know the Polaris content probably gets kind of old. Also, you guys have been asking to see a Skidoo Summit on the channel for the longest time, so I think it's about time I deliver on that. Well guys, it is official. I am no longer a Polaris owner and I officially own my very first Skidoo. I ended up buying a 2022 Skidoo Summit 850-154 and I gotta say guys, I am beyond stoked to have this sled. And I'm honestly super excited to give Skidoo a try and see what I think of Skidoo compared to Polaris. You know, I've spent so many years of my life riding Polaris, actually every year of my life riding a Polaris, and I've owned countless Pro RMKs. So I figured now is the perfect time to switch it up and try something new, try something I have never tried before. I've gotten so many requests for me to get an 850 Summit on the channel and for me to try one out. And after riding Brandon's 146 free ride last year, I was like, you know what, maybe this is something I could do. So I woke up this morning and decided to buy a 850 Summit. Did not film too much at the dealership because I was beyond torn. I spent about two hours going back and forth in my head about which sled to get. I went there for two sleds, a 154 Summit and a 146 Summit. And I could not for the life of me make up a decision on what I wanted to do. I was going to get the 146 and all of a sudden I want the 154 again and I want the 146 and the 154 and I kept going back and forth and I just could not make up my mind on which sled to get. Then I started thinking deeper and deeper into the Summit purchase and the 9R and I'm like what if I ride the Summit and I really like the Summit and I want to keep it and I don't really want my 9R because I have an 850 Summit 2022 that's paid for in cash or what if my 9R doesn't show up till March like my Chaos didn't show up till March last year. So it got me thinking would I be truly happy with a 146 at all times. Now I know if my 146 was for sure temporary and I was definitely getting my 9R then I would have got the 146 because honestly it'd be a great backup sled, great trail sled, great ditch banger. But I was like, if that is going to be my only sled, if I don't get the 9R or it doesn't come or whatever may happen or I really like Skidoo, would I want to have a 146 at all times? And I came to the conclusion that I said, no, I'm still want my 154. I like my long tracks. So I ended up with the 154 Summit. I'd go as far to say that I am more excited to have this than I'd probably be to have the 9R just because I've experienced Polaris. I've had so many pros. I've had just so many Polaris in general, written so many, that this is something completely new to me, something completely different. 
something new for the channel and it just excites me i don't know i was like just really stoked to get this sled like i said before 2022 850 skidoo summit sp so it is the base model sled there's no edge no expert none of that so we got the base shocks base display not the cut tunnel none of that just a base model summit but that's okay i am 100 percent cool with that usually i like to buy the latest and greatest flashiest things but for some reason i was just happy to get this sled i didn't really care what features it had on it I was just happy to have a 2022 850 Summit. One of my favorite features on this sled already is that it has shot. This was the one thing on Phil and Brandon's sled that I absolutely loved, and I am so stoked to have shot. It is such a cool feature to have on a sled. Beyond hype for that, but overall, I just, I love it. I think it looks great. I moved it in the parking lot a little bit to get it to my truck, and it's beyond torquey, so I bet this is gonna wheelie like crazy. Probably gonna have to get down there and mess with that limiter strap and let that out just a little bit. That's another thing I'm excited for is I have an adjustable limiter strap on this opposed to the Polaris where you don't. Super clean. It's just overall beautiful. I absolutely love it. I had two color options. I could have went with the all black like I did, or I could have went with like a black, gray, and orange. And I opted for the all black just because I already have plans for a wrap. Like I honestly have a whole build plan for this thing. And the orange and gray just wasn't going to fit my build. So I went with the all black to keep things simple and make everything flow with the wrap. And the entire build that I have planned for this. I want to do something about this snow flap. I want to see if I could put the Summit Expert snow flap on there. The little short stubby guy. Because quite honestly, I, I don't like this. And if that's not going to work, I got to find a different solution to get a shorter snow flap. And if that's not going to work, we're probably going to take my multi-tool or a Dremel and chop this because I just don't want that long of a flap on there. Like you could already see, like it, it gets caught pretty easily. And I also need to look into shock upgrades because this is the base model summit. So it comes with base model shocks. Now I haven't ridden them yet, obviously. So I don't know how good or how bad they are. But if I end up not liking them for some reason, I need to find a solution for shocks. So drop in the comments below what shocks you think I should put on here. Obviously foxes are the go-to. I also thought about zebros but we will have to see. Guys, I got Brembo's too, let's go! So this is a used sled, we are gonna go through the whole sled and do a complete preseason night just to make sure it is ready for the first ride of the season. I wanna go ahead and give you guys a quick start up in its stock form so you guys could hear the 850 E-Tech in all its glory with a stock muffler. I just had this thing started not too long ago, so let's see if shot works. I don't know if it has enough charge. Nope, not yet. All right, I'm curious, will shot work now? Oh, ho, ho, let's go! Hands down, favorite feature on this sled. And their little storage thing here that Polaris tried to do on the 19 Pro MK, way better. To all my Skidoo guys that watch the channel, you guys gotta be pretty happy with this decision. I feel like overall, this is gonna be a great addition to the channel and a great thing for me, because it is gonna bring Skidoo guys to the channel. Like my following is mainly Polaris. I know I have some Skidoo guys here, Articat, Yamaha, etc. But this is gonna bring a whole new realm of people to the channel. And we're doing something completely different that I've never done before and we've never seen on the channel. So it's super exciting for me. We are gonna wrap up this exciting new sled reveal right here. If you guys are excited for Summit Content Smash, a huge thumbs up on today's video comment section below let me know what you guys think of making the switch over to skidoo also let me know what options i have for a snow flap on this because i am pretty curious like i always say if you guys are new here or you've been watching for a while and you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will catch you guys in the next video peace out